let me know if you can see my screen. <clears throat> so good afternoon class, okay? Our topic for today is the rescue of persons from a vessel in distress or from a wreck, okay? Meaning uh, he or she suffered from a collision or grounding or whatsoever catastrophe, okay? And with that, you have to rescue those persons. For example, if you are a uh, salvager or a salvage vessel. So rescuing person from a vessel in distress or from a wreck. Passengers and crew should therefore stay ab ab aboard the stricken vessel if possible until a rescue vessel arrives and sends boat across to the disabled person. <clears throat> so what's the international law of the sea? A, the law of the sea is a body of customs, treaties, and international agreements by which governments maintain order, productivity, and peaceful relations on the sea. The UNCLOS or the United Nations Conventions on Law of the Sea held its conference on the law of the sea in 1956. Okay, is there any law in international waters? According to the, according to the UNCLOS, no state may validly purport to subject any part of the high seas to its sovereignty, rather than belonging to nowhere, international waters kind of belong to everywhere under the principle of freedom of the seas. Okay, <clears throat> the convention has been ratified by 168 parties, which includes 167 states, 164 nations, member states, plus the UN observer state, Palestine, as well as the Cook Islands and NEU, and the European Union. An additional uh, four ten U UN member states have signed but not ratified the convention. So it's required by state to render assistance. Okay, under Article 98, of Paragraph 1 of UNCLOS provides that every state shall require the master of a ship flying its flag insofar as he can do so without serious danger to the ship, the crew, or the passengers to do any of the following. Render assistance to any person found at sea in danger of being lost so who who will be who will render the the assistance it will be us gentlemen okay uh they're seagoing vessels so kayo yon, tayo yon, no? since uh i'm still active in the merchant service so how do you describe regulation 33 distress messages obligations and procedures reg 33 it's distress situations okay Obligations and procedures. The obligation is to provide assistance applies regardless of the nationality or status of such persons or the circumstances in which they are found. So what's a distress situation? Okay, uh, It's a kind of stress that exceeds a person's physical, emotional, or psychological ability to cope with the situation. Dr. Kur stated, okay, distress hinders a person's ability to function normally, communicate, and think clearly. That is why, gentlemen, in case of emergency, those drills and trainings, it will be gone, okay? Uh, what will come out is your adre adrenaline rush or some others can really manage it, okay? Yung ibang leaders, they can manage even in distress, no? They know what to do. Uh, that is the reason why you are having actually the the... Uh, drills and training for you to practice. Uh, kumbaga, ano siya, brain, brain muscle na yung mag work okay? Because you don't have actual the, actually the checklist, no? You cannot follow those in an instant if that happens. So let's talk about EMSAR manual. There are three volumes. Volume 1 is organization and management. Volume 2 is mission coordination. And volume 3 is the mobile facilities. <clears throat> So what's, what is EMSAR's function? First, International Aeronautical and Maritime Search and Rescue. Before, it was MERSAR, but now it is EMSAR. It's to assist the states in meeting their own search and rescue needs and the obligations they accepted under the Convention on International Civil Aviation, the International Convention. Okay, it's a... Uh, silence, please. The purpose of EMSAR is to assist states. Hello. Mic off, please. Uh, 
uh, can you please advise the person? All right. Thank you. The purpose of EAMSAR manual is to assist states in meeting their own SAR need and fulfilling obligations accepted under the international conventions. These volumes provide guidelines for common aviation and maritime approaches to organizing and providing SAR services. So SAR, we have the ECAO and then the IMO definition. SRR is an area of defined dimensions or search and rescue region associated with the rescue coordination center within which search and rescue services are provided. SRRs are established to ensure the provision of adequate communications infrastructures efficient. So six widely used search patterns. Ito yung mga search patterns that we use. For example, there are man overboard, there are vessels that has drifted away or have sunk, no? We have the parallel track, the creeping line, the expanding square, the sector, the barrier, and the track line. And of course, the man overboard rescue turn, we have the quick turn, okay? Anderson turn, Williamson turn, and Charno turn. While under when thick fog, you're on watch and hear the cry man overboard, which type of maneuver you should do it, Williamson, or even in nighttime, it will be Williamson, okay? For the Williamson gentlemen, you have to do this, no? If uh, if uh, it's man overboard on the starboard, you can see this standard Williamson turn okay, on the left side. If it's on port side, it's also same way, same procedure. Okay, just read the diagram, memorize. So, for example, okay, you're on watch 090 degrees through, and then uh, man overboard on your starboard side. These are the things that you will do. Okay. So who's responsible for search and rescue? It's the Department of National Defense as overall responsibility for the coordinated search and rescue system. So our operations are organized, are organized by Joint Rescue Coordination Centers or the JRCC. They are manned 24 seven by SAR coordinators from Canadian Coast Guard and Canadian Forces. What are two factors that a decision to attempt a rescue are based on? It's the risk involved and the over goal of doing the greatest good for the greatest number of people. Okay. Is the master of the vessel obliged to respond or provide assistance to distress vessel? Yes. Okay. It is mandatory for you to provide that unless uh, there is already a rescuer from that ship. Okay. What do you do if you see a distress signal? Notify the distress or the nearest Coast Guard station or the state authority by radio. Channel 9 on the uh, VHF channels, 156.8 megahertz. And if you can assist the stricken vessel without endangering yourself, you should. Okay? It is mandatory. So, gentlemen, uh, ladies and gentlemen, cadets, no? uh, if you are on watch in bridge, how will you know if it's a distress signal, okay? So you should memorize those things mentioned under Annex 4 of the call regs, okay? That's the reason why you are told to memorize those uh, Annex 4 in the call regs. So what's the role of search and rescue during a disaster? To rescue trapped survivors of a disaster, then first aid should be provided to the injured people. Do ships have to respond to distress signals? The IMO explicitly states this requirement is international convention for the safety of life at sea. A master of a ship at sea which is in a position to be able to provide assistance on receiving a signal from any source that persons are in distress at sea is bound to proceed with all speed to their assistance. Okay. So again, no? what are the main distress signals? It's either visual signals, sound signals, or radio signals in the form of Morse code or SOS. Three steps to create an emergency evacuation plan. Determine evacuation, implement a clear chain of command, and then create procedures, procedures to account for all employees after an emergency evacuation. Six steps to initiate the response to a reported 
emergency. So these are the six steps. Size up the situation, report to dispatch. Identify contingencies, determine objectives, identify needed resources, build a plan, structure, then take action. How do you assist the vessel in distress? Okay, uh, those are the life-saving appliances. Life boy, sling, heaving line, boat hook, uh, PFTs, tender or soldier ready for lunch, issue a relay may day on your GM desk equipment, pyrotechnics, yung mga hand flares nyo, yung mga red racket parachute flares, uh, smoke signals, and also first aid kits. What are the stages of search and rescue operations? Dispatch of SAR, conduct the search, rescue survivors, assisting the distressed craft, provide emergency care for survivors, and delivering casualties to medical facilities. Of course, on board ship, we have the hospitals, no? ship hospitals, even on the other vessel, meron yan. And uh, hindi siya ganun ka kumpleto, like what you can find in the hospital here on in the land. No? However, at least, uh, pwede nyo naman i-cope up and then extend the life of the victim. <clears throat> okay, this is just an example. So, PFD means personal flotation device. Okay, uh, cadets, PFD means personal flotation device. So, what's the difference between PFD and life jacket? Unlike traditional life jackets are more comfortable because they are designed for constant wear. However, however, they do not generally offer the same level of protection as life jackets for staying afloat and turning an unconscious person onto their back so you can breathe. Which signals should be used to indicate that your vessel is in distress? Okay. A floating man overboard pole or Dan boy can be used to indicate the person is in distress in the water and is ordinarily equipped with a yellow and red flag. International signals Oscar, meaning man over board okay oscar pwede rin siya in the form of morse code or in the form of flag okay this is just a question and watch receive a word the spell fallen overboard from the starboard side what's your uh, first action of course put on hard starboard okay put put the rudder on hard starboard okay how would an aircraft Aircraft visually signal in distress. Okay. Rocket or shell throwing red lights fired one at a time at short intervals. Parachute player. Okay. So the word will be red rocket parachute player. Para makita ng aircraft. Can anyone answer a distress message if no one is answering it? Of course, no. No, if you are very far from the distress uh, vessel. You, you cannot just immediately acknowledge or answer back. You can relay it, but you can never respond that you can uh, acknowledge if you are, for example, 100 nautical miles. No, That will take about uh, 10 hours, Okay, depending on your vessel. So what do you do if no one responds to your distress call? Log and monitor the distress call. No other station responds. Answer, acknowledge the call, then attempt to relay information to a Rescue Coordination Center and all other vessels in the area that may be better suited or more capable of effectively rendering aid. And with that, you have to use the prefix Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. Okay. So if it is a distress, then you should uh, use your message and prefix word Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. Okay. What does SOS means? Okay. Save our souls or save our ships okay as always means save our souls or save our ship how much does it does it cost to be rescued by a helicopter uh for the figures okay this is i'm not sure of the statistics right now i think it's um, more pricey you know if you are being uh, rescued by a helicopter but then the figure won't matter because the ship owners Charters will be the one to pay for this, okay, depending on the chartered party. Or your insurance, if you are something like Gallagher Marine Services or anything, or your PNI, whatever. So, what is the importance of search and rescue team? These are teams are called upon to help the people who are in potential distress or imminent danger, often going off road to look for those who are missing or feared lost 
because of accident, foul play, mental health, or natural disasters. The coordinator surface search in such situations should display by the code flags, Foxtrot Romeo. Okay, Foxtrot Romeo. Coordinator surface search in such situations display by night a distinct signals promulgated by coordinated surface search. Main objective of search and rescue team, of course, is to rescue no? trapped survivors of a disaster. What are the duties of search and rescue team? Duties may include performing ground, aerial, or water-based search and rescue operations. Sur supervised between one to six search and rescue personnel may perform technical rope rescue, hasty searches, grid searching for evidence, or clues, aerial searches, helicopter, short hole, etc. Okay, you are approaching a disabled vessel in order to remove survivors from it. If your vessel drips faster than the disabled vessel, how should you make your approach to the windward of the disabled vessel? Okay, windward meaning the direction where the wind is coming from. Okay, leeward it's against against the wind. No, you are trying to rescue survivors from a wrecked vessel on fire. How should you make your approach again to the windward of the wrecked vessel? Upon receipt of distress message, a merchant vessel is bound to proceed to the scene of the distress. Okay, you are on a tank vessel and the distress involves major fire on board the vessel. The vessel would arrive at the distress scene more than 36 hours after the receipt of the initial distress message. There are vessels closer to the distress scene that are proceeding to assist. Okay, Navigational Act 1912. Open and close parent 265 obligation to render assistance if a ship to which part to apply is at sea. The master of the ship has reason to believe that the persons on or from a ship or aircraft are in distress. The master shall cause his or her ship to proceed with all practicable speed to the assistance of those persons and if possible inform them that he or she is so doing. Okay, penalty for that for non-compliance is for Yes. All right, class. So that is all for our week for uh, 15 rescue of persons from a vessel in this dress. Okay, let me stop my sharing. And let me take the screenshot of your attendance.